So when I look to my wagons to pull a rake of freight, I need to think of a few things really. If I'm pulling coal wagons or mineral wagons for example, that's okay, it can just pull the wagons as they are. If on the other hand I'm pulling something such as uh, this, a fuel or oil tanker, something that's got flammable substances on, then the rules state if you want to play to the rules you don't have to, some model trains after all, the rules state though that you should have what's called a barrier wagon and in this context barrier wagons are just barriers between the flammable substance and the engine or the person in the brake van to protect people. Barrier wagons can also mean wagons with different couplings so that they all, different coupling types can meet up. In this context I'm talking about barrier wagons as a barrier between explosive wagons. So if I had a few of these, five or six of these, I would need at least one barrier wagon at each end. So at the tail end of the train I could have my brake van and this supplies braking effort to coaches which have no braking system or wagons which have no braking system and that's important because if the wagons and the brake van came away from the engine then something needs to stop them so that's why you have this so there's a person on there, normally the guard and then you can have a low mac three of these typically well it depends on what I read you can also have this this is a Hornby barrier van so that's a box van you can use that, it'd be an old van something that's not used for much commercially in the real world and this you could use or this little wagon with no load. Three of those at each end of the tankers. So you've got three of these between the tankers and the engine and three between the tankers and the brake van. And then that should look more like how they actually ran. So I'm going to have a little play with my trains now and try and make up a little rake. 